what is going on everybody tunji again from Caesar graphics welcome to my channel and today i'm going to be teaching you guys how to make this movie poster that attacked the vow now one interesting part of this tutorial is the suspense on the face of our character so without any further ado let's jump into today's tutorial okay so let's create a new document so i'm going to click on file and i'll select new so for this project i'm going to use um 1024 by 1280 then my resolution is going to be 100 let's just use 100 and i'm going to make this um the file of the poster and um the color mode is going to be rgb and my background is going to be white so i'm going to click on the create button Whoa. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to bring in is the image of my character. So I'm going to put the link in the description section to where you can get the images I'm using on this project. So I'm going to scale this big like so. So I'm going to zoom out. And this should be somewhere around here. Scale it big. And I'm going to add the layer mask to this. So I'm going to select the brush tool to increase the size of my brush. And I'm just going to take out. Now make sure that your foreground is set to black and I'm just going to take out some part of the layer just like so. Okay, and the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make this darker part of my character more darker. So to do that, I'm going to bring out the curve adjustment. So I'm gonna push this down now this point just like so and I'm gonna hit Ctrl I on my keyboard to reverse the mask and I'm gonna click on this icon here to apply to just only this layer and I'll make sure my foreground is set to white and I'm just gonna apply my brush to this side of my character like so zoom in just gonna apply it to this side so so all right another thing i can do again is i'm going to create a new layer and i'll call this um shadow okay and i'll click on the ok button then i'll make sure that my foreground is set to um black like so and now I'm going to gently apply the brush to this part of um, my character's um, skin. Now, if you, you need a graphics tablet to do this, but if you don't have a graphics tablet, you can reduce your flow to maybe something around 20 or 15, or you can make your opacity 15. But because I'm using a graphics tablet, uh, my brush setting is going to be on the um, transfer option checked. Okay, and I'm going to just gently apply the brush just uh, like so all right so i'm going to gently apply it so right so so i'm going to go a little bit further just like so so the next thing i'm going to do is to change the character to black and white to do that i'll go back to the adjustment tab here and if you can't find your adjustment tab simply go to windows and you will see it here so i'm going to check i'm going to select the black and white adjustment here and i'm going to click on the same icon i clicked on the curve adjustment again to turn to apply to just only the layer and i'm going to increase this so as to you know increase the brightness on the face and i'm going to push this i'm going to push this out and push this in like so should go out and this should go in just like so right now this is good so what i'm going to do now is to rasterize the layer and i'll right click again and convert it to a smart object then i'm going to hold down control and click to create the marquee of the layer and i'm going to add a layer mask so next thing i'm going to do is to go straight to um filter and select order and select minimum now you see that you don't have those lines anymore, but the radius of the minimum is too much. So I'm going to make this, um, let's say two. All right. Now two is perfect. And I'm going to click on the OK um, button just like so. 
So um, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add levels to this because I want to be able to separate the uh, shadow from the highlight. So I'm going to go to the adjustment tab again and I'm going to apply levels to this. So I'll select the same icon again and I'm just going to push this in and push this out like so. Let's push this in. Like so. so now this is better. So the next thing I'm going to do is to drag in the image of the forest. So I'm going to drag that and drop here like so. You know what? Let's just give it a name. I'm just going to call this forest. And I'll convert this to a smart object. Then I'm going to bring out the free transform. And I'll scale this down. Position this somewhere around the beard of uh, my character just like so so position it here so the next thing we're doing now is to apply the lightning blend mode now this blend mode is going to use the shadow on the layer below the layer that we're applying the blend mode so i'll change my blend mode to lightning all right and i'm going to bring this down just uh, like so all right so I'm going to make a copy of this and I'll bring out the free transform, rotate and click on the rotate 180 degree option here. Right click again and change this to flip horizontal. So I'm trying to cover the parts where we don't have the forest on the project. All right. So I'm going to make a copy of this again and i'm going to move this up now this needs to be bigger but i'm going to make it bigger and this should be somewhere around here just like so i'm just going to position this somewhere around here just like so okay and i'll make a copy of this again and i'll rotate this bring out the free transform and i'll rotate this and so flip this should go up here just like so this here just like so now i'm going to cover this white part by um, creating a new layer below the layer of our character and i'm going to call this black Okay, and I'm going to select the brush too, and I'm just going to apply black to the side just like so. So what I'm going to do next is to put the forest in um, a group. So I'm going to just select all the forest, and I'm going to use the shortcut on my keyboard to put that in a group, and I'm going to call this forests. So um, I need to take out some part of the of this layer from the base of my character. So this needs to go out. So I'm going to add a layer mask to this. And I'm going to select the brush tool. I'll make sure that this is set to black. And I'm just going to take it out from this um, part of uh, my character's um, face. Just like so. All right. I'm just going to take it out from here. Take it out from here. Uh, let's just make some of it visible on the face. Oops. So we take it out from here. Take this out from here, just like so. Just gently take it out from here so as to see some part of his eyes. Like so, and um, for this, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna gently. So I'm going to add a layer mask to this and I'm going to gently take it out from here just like so. Take it out from here. Alright, you know what? Let's just see if I can move this a little bit further or we scale it we can scale it a little bit 
and I'm going to just uh, move this in about this point just like so okay, this is not bad so I'm gonna uh, connect the layer mask and the layer back again and I'm going to select my brush too and I'm just going to take this out from here switch to white and just make some part of the forest visible on the base of my character just like so take it out from here just like so and then make it right so this is good you know I still need to take it out from here so what I'm doing is I'm switching from black to white all right so I'm using the X key on my keyboard to switch from white to black okay so black takes out the layer and white added added back so I'm going to um, go to this layer mask and I'm just going to take it out from here just like so so for the head I'm gonna add I'm gonna add a layer mask here and I'm just gonna take it out from here just uh, like so right so uh, the next thing I'm gonna do is to create a new layer I'll call this highlights I'm going to go to the color picker of my foreground and I'm going to just pick the shade of green here and also make it a little brighter and I'm just going to zoom in select my brush to reduce the size of my brush and just add light to this side of the eye just like so and I'm going to blend it this so double click here okay so I'm going to move from this side to this side and I'm going to hold down alt and click to break the slider and i'm going to move this to this point and move this to this point like so let's move this here and reduce the opacity just a little and i'm going to select the ok button so now i'm going to zoom out and we have this so um the next thing we're going to do now is to stamp visible of the layers so as to be able to do some color grading and more adjustment with camera roll so I'm going to hold down Ctrl Shift Alt and E to stamp visible of all the layers. Um, go to filter and select camera or filter here. All right. So I'm going to start with the basics. And um, for the basic, I'm going to just increase the exposure just a little. And for the contrast, I'm going to reduce the contrast just like so. And for the highlight, I'll dial that down. All right. So as to be able to see more of the uh, mid tone on the face of my character. For the shadow, I'm going to push that um down just like so and for the texture i'm going to move that up so as to add contrast to the pixels of um my character's face all right so i'm going to move that up to about um this point and um for the clarity i'm going to um push that up so as to add more details to the face of my uh, character just like so and um for the vibrance i'm going to reduce my vibrance all right i, I don't want this to be too colorful okay and uh, for my curve i'm going to create the x curve shape because i want to be able to add more depth to the scene like so all right so uh for the details yeah i need to increase the sharpen all right so i'm going to move that up all right so as to add more details to the project now you see we're beginning to give the project more life just like so and um for um so for the pleat tone, I'm going to add a little bit of um, green to this, to the shadow. So I'm going to move this here, just like so. And I'm just going to add a little bit more green to the project. Let's move this here. So, like so yeah. Then um, the last part is the effect, which is the noise. So I'm going to add more green to this. I'll put this up, like so. And I am going to click on the OK button. So this is the before and this is the after. So the next thing we are doing now is to add depth to the project. So we're going to make the edges of our character blurry. So the next thing I'm going to do again now is to make a copy of the layer. Go to filter, blur and select, I mean, blur, <laughs> blur gallery and select field blur. 
so i'm going to make my blow strength seven all right then i'm going to click on the ok button so what i'm going to do is to add a layer mask to this and i'm going to hit the control i on my keyboard to reverse the mask and i am going to select my brush too now make sure that your foreground is set to white which is the opposite of black here and i'm going to increase the size of my brush then i'm going to just apply the um brush to the layer mask okay so i'm just going to apply it here Right, so one last thing I'm going to do again before I put the title and the cast on this project is to add noise. So I'm going to hold on Alt and click on the new layer icon and hold this noise. And I'm going to change my um, my blend mode to soft light. And I'll check the fill with soft light neutral color 50% gray option. And I'll go to filter noise. And I'm going to select add noise. All right, so I want this noise to be more stronger. Just like so, show the noise and I'm going to select the OK button. All right, so I'm going to add the title. So the name of the font I'm using here is called the brush up. So I'm going to call the B and change this to red. So I have the movie credits now on my project and I'm going to change the color to um, black All right, and I'm going to position this below the title and even make it more bigger. So and I'll shift select the three layers. Then I'm going to bring out the free transform right click and select skill here and I'm going to move this up. Like so and push this down here like so right click and select free transform and I'm going to scale this down just like so So, and, uh, I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial guys if you have not subscribed remember to hit the subscribe button and remember to ring the bell so you will be notified when I post my tutorials also comment like and share this tutorial I'll see you guys again in the next one peace